What's up guys? In the last video I talked about the different rates I use and mainly talking about my race rates right here. And in that video I talked about how I had them set up to where all three profiles were accessible through a switch on my transmitter. And so in this video I want to show you how I did that. First you want to go ahead and actually set up your three different rates that you want. For me it's like gear one, gear two, and gear three. So gear one is my race rates real low. Gear two is my mid rates. This gives me the ability to fly new locations and new tracks and get used to the track before settling down to my race rates. And then gear three, or rate profile three, is my freestyle rates. So I'm able to go from racing to freestyle on the same quad with a flip of a switch. And this is how I did it. You go up here, you enable expert mode, and this is in beta flight. I'm not sure how to do it in race flight or KISS, I apologize. So if you are one of those, you're out of luck. So enable expert mode. And then similar to in your modes right here, where you set up your arm to an auxiliary switch, you're going to set up a switch on your transmitter for auxiliary two or three or whatever you want to put for a three position switch and then go into this adjustments tab right here and make sure to match up your auxiliary number for the top three channels over here. And so basically what this tab is, I don't use it for anything else, but you can use this tab to set up your transmitter to be able to tune your quad. You have all these different options, throttle expo, expo adjustments rates, yaw eye adjustment, all sorts of things you can change using your transmitter but all we're going to focus on in this video is rate profile selection. And so make sure all three of these are rate profile selection. Make sure your range is split. You can test this on your transmitter by setting one of them up and flipping your three position switch and see, see where it lands. And mine lands literally in the middle of each of these when I flip my switch. And so set up exactly like this. We're going to use slot one and auxiliary two for the channel and slot. And what this is, uh, you don't really have to worry about it when it comes to this, setting this up. But if you read the example up here, you can basically set it to where slot one will allow you to do yaw D adjustments. And then if you set the same thing up, you can have the same auxiliary switch over here too. And then you have it like on slot two, and you can adjust it via auxiliary three, as far as I understand it. I haven't actually used it yet, but it's a pretty neat tap. And that's all there is to it. Now you can have three different sets of rates while out in the field on the same quad like a pro. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe. I'll do more videos like this and more giveaways here soon.